It's time to convene and share with the people what we're dealing with in the city of Rocky Mount that so many other cities are dealing with as well. We join you in the fight today at the Unite the Fight City Workers Rally. Are you all ready? Yes. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. We got something to say today. Yes. Yeah. And we will be heard. What do we want? Fair pay. pay. What do we want? Fair, Fair pay. pay. When do we want it? Right now. What do we want? Fair pay. When do we want it? Right now. What do we want? Fair pay. When do we want it? Right now. What do you want? Fair pay. When do we need it? Now. When do we need it? Now. We got a lot to say today. The workers are here. The community is here to That's unite. Right. We have friends and family from all over the state that's joined us in support of the city workers demanding a raise. Today we demand a raise. What do we want? What do we want? We're going to have Mr. Petway with UE 150 come up and speak with us. Give us a welcome. We're gonna make some more noise and be loud. And then we're gonna hear from some speakers directly from the mouths of the city workers. Right. What we're here today for, we wanna welcome each and every one of y'all out here today. But we are here to demand a rate of fair pay. We, uh, we, we, as you know, the city do not want to do this, but we standing on our principle that a fair pay for one is a fair pay for all. That's right. We want equal, equal rights. We can't get equal rights if you are uh, paying a uh, different department. They're giving them their fair share, but we're not getting ours. That's right. That's right. We got a lot of uh, sanitation workers back here, but we're not only soliciting it for the sanitation. We soliciting it for every employee within the city. That's right. That's That's right. Every employee, every employee need a raise. They need a raise to do how to, to support their own family. When you go into the market, you see that all the food where the food is rising, your gas is rising, rent is rising. Insurance is rising, but yet we can't get a fair pay. How can we stand in a city and say we are doing the people right when you can't even communicate with each other to get a fair raise? That's right. That's right. That's right. We should have been the first one you can you, you know, decide to give a raise to. All the hard work that they do. We ain't we ain't asking for nothing no more. We just asking for our fair share. That's right. We want to welcome you today to the sanitation worker. All the sanitation workers, we want to welcome each and every one. Everybody is an important in this city. Right. Not one department or the other department. I understand that about four departments uh, got raises. We can call them out. The fire department, the police department, the electric department. And other, um, it might be some more department, but we, they're not telling us. And we ask, we all we want to do is make sure that we, as an employee, as employees with the city working hard each day, get that fair raise. What do we want? Fair raise. Hey. When do we want it? Right, right. right now. That's what we want. We got, we got some people to, uh, to chat a um, testimony here, and then. Anybody want to pick up? Anna, you want to come up? We, go, we want that. Not only that, we know that uh, October is election time. That's right. And we got four candidates 
that's standing with the UE yeah, 150 right. in the city to help get that third chair. That's right. That's that's right. Right. But we asked other, other candidates to come out and voice their opinion. They turned us down. And if you turn the citizen down and the people that are working in the city, turn them down to come ask, uh, for them to ask you some questions, how do you feel about this? And you don't want to do it, don't want to speak to them, just shove them off and say, okay, you can, you can vote for me. But we said no more of this. Right. Right. No more. We won't, if you can't stand with us, why do you think we want to stand with you? That's right. And we asking everybody who vote to vote for the candidate that in your ward that's going to do what you have, what you need for them to do, not what somebody else want them to do. We need a lot of different things within the city on both sides of this community. We not just one community; we a whole community. We not trying to divide; we trying to pull together. And if we can't pull together for a fair raise and get some fair thing market value in the side on each side, then what are we doing? What, what kind of city are we are? They used to say we were the city on the rise. But what are we rising to? <laughs> All right now. Are we rising, to? Are we rising for just to be known as a city on the rise? Are we rising to make sure everybody get a fair share within the city? Right. We want each and every one of you to know that we not, whatever y'all asking us to do, is go out there and pick up trash, go out there and fix the road, get into the snow, get into the rain. We, have, we letting y'all know that we don't, we not, we don't want, we, it ain't that we don't want to do this. We're doing it. We're doing it because we love the city. And it's what we want to do for the city. We want to make sure the city kept clean. We want to make sure all the brushes, all the limbs, all this stuff is picked up. We want to make sure the, uh, the city is looking decent for somebody to ride through the city. But if you can't give a, a work of a fair raise, why you expect for them to get out there in the rain and snow and do all this work? They do it because they don't just love city hall, they love the people. And they want to make sure the people are protected. There are different diseases out here. People working through COVID. They ain't asked for a bonus. They should be getting a bonus for working through the COVID. Right on. That's right. Preach. Preach. But that's next on their journey. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's next on their journey. <laughs> they need a bonus for working through all that hot sun, the COVID, and all the rain, and all this um, lightning and stuff like that. The same way the fire uh, police department do it, the same way the electric department go out there and do it, they doing it too. So why are you going to pick two or three departments or four departments to give them a raise but don't think about the people? Mm. That's, right. That's right. That's right. You got people working down there, fleet maintenance, doing cars, fixing cars, fixing buses, fixing tires, but they can't get a raise. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we want to thank Mr. Knight, Mr. Silver, Mr. Uh, and Teresa Austin, and, and some more that I don't see them right now. But to your right, to your right. For standing up for us. To your right. Ruben Blackwell, yeah, we can't forget him. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. He, he stands here. He, we can't forget about him. And we asking y'all to go to the poll and catch your vote for these people that are going to help the city. Come on. No justice, no peace. City workers need relief. No justice, no, no peace. peace. City workers need relief. No justice, no, no peace. peace. City workers need relief. No justice, no, no peace. peace. City workers need relief. No justice. That's what we need. That's what we need. I'm speaking on behalf of uh, environmental services. We've been we've been struggling out here for many many years asking for a fair wage. But see, we have a city manager. They put it out here 36 percent for the fire for the for the police department and the fire department got 27 percent but where is our raise at where is where is where is our percentage on, on what we got going on we work we essential workers we don't work through all the COVID. we work through COVID. we work every day through the, through the snow rain just like the post office people work shine rain shine through the snow this trash got to go 
But like I say, but when it don't go, we got a problem with it. We got disease. We got a, a city infested with things. We love what we do. The city love us, and I'm glad that they're backing us. But we got to have more, more support as far as our candidates, our city councilmen. We have Reuben, Andre speaking up for us. We got other council members that need to, need to step on board. Right, you know, to, to speak up for us. Like I said, we, we, we got a tough job we got to do. We just like the fire department, the police department. They're a valued asset, and so are we. Right. Um, we are cogging the wheel like anything else. Like I say, we just spoke in the wheel. When that spoke get bent and twisted, the wheel don't turn like it's supposed to turn. You understand? We out here, we fighting, we want justice, we're going to keep fighting for justice. You know, I'm fighting with my brothers. They're my brothers just like my work family, like my family at home. I'm backing them 100%, and I hope they back me 100%. But I'm here. We got, I know they got my back. You know what I'm saying? Because I fight with them. I go out here every day to get this job done, you know? Like I said, we got we got families at home, grocery bills high, rent high, gas is high. Well, like I said, we tired of living paycheck to paycheck. We want our fair shake out here in this city. It ain't the fact that we don't love Rack and Mouth, Rack and Mouth love us. And we represent that love to them as they give it to us. As we can see out here today, we got a lot of love in this city. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. We're going to do it religiously, and we're going to do it expeditiously. But you got to show some respect for us and give us a fair wage. The city right. work because, right. because we do. That's right. The city work because, because we do. The city work because we do. The city work because we do. The city work because we do. That's right. That's right. Amen. What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want it? Now. How y'all doing? It's Willie Brown from City of Durham. Right 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 That's me. Right right let me tell you something. I'm reporting live from Durham in Rocky Mountain. All right now. We got our money. Amen. 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 Now, I didn't get my $5,000, no, but a lot of them did. Yes, and I didn't get it because they came with a pay scale and I was just a little bit above, but I got my money. Okay? Amen. Amen. That's right. And the thing is, we, didn't, we, got, we got to it. Yeah, yeah. And the reality was we was fair in asking for what we asked for. Right yeah, we didn't get right. some astronomical number. Y'all didn't need it. Y'all was fair. Y'all was fair to the citizens. You was fair to everybody on city council. And you're fair right now. You asked for what you're supposed to have. Right. I want you to understand. The city don't work if you don't work. That's right. That's right. Don't That's right. forget That's it. Right. This city can never work if you don't work. That's, That's right. right. That's right. The police department is essential for it, very essential. Yeah, right. Fire department yeah. is very essential. Yeah. And y'all are essential. I don't like the word essential, though. I know that's right. I, I really don't. I, I even voted in our union to stop using it. Because people start defining essential people like somebody else ain't important. Right. You hear me? Right. Everybody working in the city is important. That's right. So we use the word essential, it, it becomes a divisive plot, and that's mm -hmm. how they start divvying up the money. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You hear me? That's how you do. Just remember, the city don't work without you. You deserve a fair pay, and that's please right. get away from the word essential because it almost divided us in dirt. Hmm. I'm just giving you the warning. Come on now. Talk about the labor. That's what it is. Mm. And that's all it is, labor. And you need to get fair pay for your labor. Right. So please get away from the situation. Don't divide yourself from the fire department. And don't divide yourself from the police department. Because they all city what? Workers. All right. Workers. Don't divide yourself from the workforce. Because they're the same ones that's going to come right in and help you get your money. Because they get it for us. Mm. Yeah. The fire department wrote letters. And you need to be doing it right here, Rocky Mountain. All right, now. Stop playing. Police department, y'all know what you got to do. You're supposed to do it for them. That's right. But they do it for you. That's mm. right. They do. They do it for you. Yeah, that's right. It is not fair that they get a raise in y'all, though. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's not fair. Right. We understand what fire department do. About 98 of them got killed last year in the United States. But 68 garbage men got killed. Mm. So how much support? Did you see the difference? Right. Ain't that dangerous? Well, how many city workers got killed? Mm. I'm just talking about, you know, city workers. Not police, not fire department. I guarantee you it was more. 
I guarantee you it was more. We get hit by cars, chased by dogs. Uh -huh. I've been in shootouts in Durham. There you go. Tell it. Tell it. They always say we the police when we park in the neighborhood. Am I lying? You right. Huh? You right. Huh? You right. But we still got to go in the traps and get the trash. There you go. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just being real be with real. you. That's if you don't understand what we go through, ask us. We go where you don't even want to go. We'll tell you. Huh? They trash got to be picked up too. Let's keep it real. Right. And the people that's walking down the road, picking up trash inside the road, I ain't even going to tell you what they find and what they get ran, all those get ran over every time. And we just want fair pay for a job that don't nobody want to do. What do we want? Fair pay. What do we want? What do we want? But I want you to understand it's a job that nobody want to do that we want. Love. Come on now. Say it. Do we what? We love. We love our job. We love our jobs. We yeah. feed our families with our jobs. That's right. We pay our bills with our jobs. Yeah. We send our children to cars with our jobs. Right. We take care of our mothers and grandmothers with our jobs. Right. We spend our money with our families. Yeah. That's right. And we need more of it to spend with families. Yeah. Because we don't have the time. We have to have two or three jobs just to do this job. That's right. yeah. I got Taco Bell job. Welcome to Taco Bell. May I help you? <laughs> because I don't make enough money on my job. I'm just being real. And that ain't fair. It was a time a man and woman could have one job and take care of their family. But you can't buy a cheeseburger on the six dollars and twenty-five And if you ask for fries, it's more than nine dollars. Now how you expect you to be every person in the city or Rocky Mountain need to be giving city workers discounts at every place they eat. Why you don't? You love them, show them some love. That's right. That's show them some love. That's right. And I'm not trying to be funny. It was a time. What you say, Mom? It was a time they did that, did Huh? Huh? <laughs> show your support to these workers and what they struggle going through. When they come to your businesses, support them like they support you. Show that same respect that they do. Because if you, it ain't nothing. I'm going to tell you, sometimes it be outside our job description. They'll come out and say, hey, could you do this for me? And what we do, keep, don't, don't say that too loud. <laughs> but we do it. <laughs> because we love you. And we don't want your house or your community to be messed up either. And we do things sometimes that we ain't exposed to. That's right. Just to make the environment safe. That's right. That's right. You hear me? That's right. Support these workers. Right. Support them. You ain't gonna never get no more like them because they're homebred. They homebred and they love it here. Yeah. Don't make them do like people doing in Durham, going to Cherry and all these other places to get jobs because you don't want to pay them. We under man right now because of the same thing. We got 177 positions. Oh, just found out they cut some of them 177 positions, about 40, 50 of them, what? just so it won't look so bad. Oh, then they start hiring some people so it won't look so bad that we got 48 people. Yeah, I'm saying go here. You see? You see? There you go. I'm not trying to be funny. Don't be that city. Don't be that city. Don't be that city. Yeah. We don't got time to be arguing with nobody. No, we ain't got time for that. When we already on the man and woman in these positions throughout the city, and we still get it done. Yeah, on the man. We ain't got to be like that. The process of hiring people ain't got to be ninety days. <laughs> yeah. How is it? it don't take even two minutes to fire somebody. Damn. It don't take you three days. months to hire somebody. <laughs> and then it work the call free work. You understand? <laughs> these are things that you are, you know you need to look at in terms of building your city. You'll have more people that come from, hey, think about it. What's the reentry program of the city? The people come home from institutions or wherever they come from, they need jobs. Yeah. And they ain't got 90 days to figure it out. But they can come out here and work now, and they need the help now. Don't get it messed up. We love the city. But in order to grow the city, you got to make sure the city's safe. And these right here are your first line of defense when it comes to safety. It ain't the police department. They job is when you call them. You ain't got to call them. They come. No disrespect, but they come, they come on a routine basis. And they're going to be there when you ain't even there. You just set it out and they're going to pick it up. God bless y'all. Be safe. What do we want? Family. What do we want? It? What do we want? Family. What do you want?
This ring. Everybody wants to speak? Yeah. Okay. All right. How you doing tonight? How you doing? My name is Jim Wren. I'm retired past president of uh, Camu Local U150 chapter at the Cummins Rock Engine Plant, and I'm here to support my brothers and sisters at Rocky Mountain City Workers for a fair raise. Workers need to stand up and speak out and, and uh, fight for the raise that they deserve. One tool we need is a petition from the workers. The workers, uh, the councilmen say they want to hear from the workers. We got a petition started. We need more workers to sign the petition to present to the city council. Uh, it's important that the workers uh, sign a petition for the fair raise. It's important that the workers join the union. Join you, we want to fix it. My right. brother here from Durham will tell right. you yeah. about you, we want to fix it. How strong is you, we want to fix across the state, brother? Brother, huh? yes, brother went, right? Yes, sir. Very strong. 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 You need to be going everything. with Charlotte, yes, Greensboro, Durham, Raleigh, and, and let this wave keep going on now. Yeah. Uh, Genius. Virginia, Virginia Beach. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Beach. So, uh, before we go in this meeting here, I want people to come up and, and sign this petition. That's right. And sign for the union. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so, we always had at, at CDC for years petitions. We had what we call a petition tradition. That's how we start our campaign with petitions. That's right. I think, uh, and uh, Reverend Silver here was so, so pressed me so much, know so much of our history. Oh, Remember yeah. what we did in 1990, 210 CC workers signed right. for the Martin Luther King holiday. That's right. And we took it in, we gave it to the HR director, and he wasn't in the plan, he was at the Martin Luther King breakfast, and we couldn't go to because we had to work. <laughs> but we didn't give up. We, we struggled because the company first said, we can't, you know, they were on a lot of key, but we can't give a King holiday because we go broke. We, we couldn't do that. But we fought for eight months. Got the community involved. We have Raz and Tom Stiff Park and Walk Buttons, and we got that holiday. And that holiday still exists today in Cummins Rock and Engine Plant. A pay holiday for the King Day. Because the workers took a stand and petition. So we ask for these uh, Rock and Mountain workers to follow suit and sign a petition, pay raise, and be a starting point for your workers' organization. I've done a lot of research on the 1978 Rocky Mountain Sanitation Workers' Strike. And we helped get a historical marker and historical signs to, to, to bring that forward, how to, the sanitation work in the Rocky Mount changed history. That's right. Changed history, changed history for voting rights, for labor across the state. Because in 1978, when uh, uh, the city wanted to uh, prosecute Alexander Evans That's for right. picking up a suit, uh, That's right. it was left by a trash can. That's right. And he was doing this to give to the needy. That's it's right. already the newspaper. He does it for that was his ministry. That's right. But yet he was arrested, he was charged, he was suspended. But the workers said, we, if you do it to him, you can do it for us, and All we're right. not going to do it. That's they right. shut it down. That's right. They shut it down for several weeks. Trash piled up here. But uh, as Reverend Walker has said, the city manager could not show up. Nobody knows. But when the Rocky you Mountain Sanitation Works didn't show up for three or four weeks, the city knew it, right. and, and, right. and they didn't give up till victory was won. So right. what you all need to do is stick with it and don't give up till victory is won. Yeah. Right. Right. What do we want? Fair, Fair pay. pay. When do we want it? Now. Fair pay. Yeah. Fair pay. Yeah. Now. Right. So, um, Cooper, what's next? Oh yeah, we got we, got, we still got speakers. Okay. We got speakers. Hmm. Any any of the elected officials that support in the supporting the and also the candidates as well. We'll start with the incumbent that's, that's in office right now. Uh, and then any, any any elected officials present that's in support uh, of the of this movement right now, this cause. Uh, please feel forward. Anybody in the community, please come forward to express your support. I'm asking Councilman Blackwood to We stand in solidarity in supporting all employees of equitable pay here in the city of Rocky Mountain. We just want you to know, just look out here and see who's out here with you. It was a strategy to cancel our city council meeting 
because we wanted to talk about fair and equitable pay for our city workers. So at the meeting this council, we call another meeting because That's we right. want to hear from the people. That's right. We want to hear from the workers. That's right. So if you can shut down a meeting, we're going to keep on meeting. We're going to have mass meetings. That's right. We're going to have rallies of which we are having now. We're going to meet in the street, meet in the homes until we get what we want. What do we want? Fair pay. And we want it now. That's right. And it takes four to make it work. And so if you got others that don't support the sanitation workers and all employees, then they need to go. They need to go. If the upper management can get six hundred thousand dollars, one hundred and seventy thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars, then we can give our workers equitable pay. Well, we stand and we've been standing. This ain't nothing new. So when I hear these comments about this is about elections, well, we've been doing this for over 20 years. One of the first issues when Councilman Knight got seated in 2003, we were being besieged by workers in public works and parks and rec and water resources that their job environments were hazardous. They were not treated with respect and dignity. Their pay was disparate. And when they were being evaluated, their evaluations were unfair. Right. We've been working for 20 years and making progress, but too slow. The issue is, what is our appetite to do right? We're not asking for anything but right. Why is it hard to talk about? Why is it hard to prioritize yeah. when you want to lift up the people whose shoulders you're standing on every day? Yes, sir. Come on. Right. 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 Come on. Right. It's a problem with your priorities, and it's a problem with your heart. That's right. That's right. And if you want to go scripture where your treasure is, right. that's where your heart right. is also. Amen. And you can keep on going and say, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. So if you can't talk about it in public, it's not in your heart. All right now. If you can't create policies in public, it's not in your heart. Mm. You want to shut it down and sit it down and push it to the back, give out some random increases, but not in a deliberate manner. It's not in your heart. Now what? The subset of us are asking. There are two council members here today. Richard over there. Richard over there. There you go. Come on up here, brother. Right. Stand in the back. Come on. <laughs> there are three council yeah. members here. Today. Come on now. How many? Eight, four. Four. Yeah. Four. Four. Eight, four. Four. Eight, 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 so what I say to you is who's on your side. Yes, right. yeah, right. And I don't mean to talk about it. I mean to walk about it. Yes, yes, Be about it. Yes, Be about, about it. Let us know and see where you go. Yeah. <laughs> I see you. So we stand together. We might not be able to vote today, but nobody can tell us what we can't talk about. Show me the one that can tell me I can't talk. Mm. Show me the one that can say we will not stand together. Show me the one that says it's confusing to talk about that. It ain't confusing when you get your check what you can pay is. It ain't confusing what your job is when you ask to get it done. So what is confusing about having Fair pay for fair work. What do we want? Fair pay! What do we want? Fair! Thank you. <laughs> certainly, uh, we stand in unity together for workers. And certainly, uh, we are not ashamed to talk about what's right for everybody. And if it's right for the top, it's right for everybody. And so we're here and we're united. Right. And you're united with us, yes. and let your vote show where your heart is. Yes. Okay? Yes. And right. so we're for real here. We're for a fair city.
for fair workers and a fair community. And we represent not only Edgecombe County side, but we want to say that we have not been treated fair. And so it's now we want to speak justice. And so we're here. I might be quiet, but I'm not silent. So we thank you that we're here. No justice, no peace. City workers need relief, no justice, no peace. City workers need relief, no justice, no peace. City workers need relief. Now we'll take speakers from the community. Any speakers? We'll take candidates, any candidates that's here in support of the cause. We are here to talk about the cause, the issue of not paying our workers. I'm Everett Silver Sr., and I definitely stand in solidarity with our sanitation workers. You know what? I looked up the definition of labor, and I found in the definition of labor, you cannot have economic gain without these gentlemen behind you. That's right. Econo our labor begins to talk about the productivity of understanding what our city needs. And one thing that bothers me the most when you look at the difference and try to, to, to differentiate between white collar jobs and blue collar jobs. That's right. To me, they're jobs. Right. Right. And those jobs deserve fair pay. Right. And I will tell you this, and I'm going to be done, is that anytime you discredit their value, their worth, and their fairness, it's an insult that you can sit home and know they're stopping disease coming to your house. Mm. They're stopping uh, infestation coming to your house. They're stopping all types of rodents coming to your house. Are y'all hearing me? It has no, I have no problem rolling my trash out for them to get it, knowing they're coming. But I also can't sleep at night knowing they're not getting paid what they should be getting paid yeah. when I go home and lay down. Yeah. You hear me? Yeah. And so, again, without economic gain, you will not have these city workers that's behind me yeah. laboring for us every day. And we don't, sometimes, and I heard him say it, now, now, now the guy from the, Dan, I mean from Durham, mentioned something that, that, that even when I'm not home, you're there. <laughs> I'm on vacation on the beach. We come. You come. <laughs> and God knows yes. that deserves yes. fair pay. All right. We're not coming anymore. We're here. We're here. We're here. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. Good evening, everyone. I am Teresa Austin Stokes, candidate for mayor for City of Rocky Mount. You know, we were asked the other day, was this political? Head to the no. It's about treating people with respect, no matter what position they're in. So I continue to stand in support of not only the environmental service workers, but fair treatment for the city workers who were overlooked when it was time to get a raise. Let me say if it was political, when, was it political when you gave the fire department there? Yeah, yeah, was it right. political when you gave the uh, police department there? Yeah. Was it political when you gave the electric electric department there? When when you stop trying to put everything on political and just to make make the fight known that it is not just that, but it's not uh, what they want to call it, but it's all because of where we are right. and who we are. That's right. That's what it was. That's what it's about. And she's right. And that's what we need to be voting for, somebody who understands. Occasion as this, I hear the Lord talking about service. Yes, yes, right. Sir, 
I want to thank you. I stand at home sometimes, and I watch the gentleman that does our sanitation on, on our avenue. And I said to him, oh, boy, look how he placed my thing back in my yard. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, I mean, right on the curb, right at night, I watched it. And let me tell you about when the snow, when, when that white stuff falls, yes. I'm on a third away. <laughs> Don't you know I welcome you? I got to go to work. <laughs> now, who is it that won't? Give the folks the rate. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just give it to them. That's right. Stop fighting right. over this. That's right. That's right. You'll get the money. You'll That's get right. nowhere. That's right. Four, six, seven, eight, fair pay today. Four, six, seven, eight, fair pay today. All out there you want to. Yes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's, clap, let's clap everybody up yes. for the volume. Yes. I'm taking my glasses off so you won't think I'm hiding. All right, come on. All right, all right. And no, no, just in no. case you don't know how serious this mm -hmm. issue is, yes. go to our housing project <laughs> with all the babies and the sheet, dirty though. diapers. Uh -huh and how they are able to dispose of them so discreetly in their containers and how these brave city workers go by and pick it yes. up yes. and dispose of it yes. and you don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. You know there's a lot going on around here that I don't see and I don't want to see it. And for what it's worth, these people deserve yes. some compensation yes. for <laughs> their time and energy. They are important to us. We need them, and they need our support. Mm -hmm. So I want everybody, if you haven't voted, to get out and vote. Yes. That's what makes a difference. Vote the people out that don't want to take care of us. That's right. And keep the people in that are taking care of us. This is supposed to be a city by the people, for the people. It ain't supposed to be for officials. It's supposed to be for the citizens. It's supposed to be for everybody. And so we want everybody to wake up if you sleep and get involved and help support all of our city workers, thank you. Thank you. All city workers need fair pay. 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 I want to say something, but I'm going to stand right here. Um, what y'all need to understand, too, is another bigger picture to this. Some of them, it ain't about y'all. It's about Andre and Ruben. They all things against Andre and Ruben. They don't care how good it is. And that's what people need to understand. And some folk that's out here that say they stand with y'all, they standing with them too. You can't stand on both sides. And I know who you are. So you can't stand on both sides. And you know I don't mind calling them out. And another thing, a lot of people don't know the history. See, I know the history. I was going to the city council meeting before those guys even got on the council. Been doing this for years. Recording before the pandemic. I know the history, so you need to know the history. And those guys, I like to, I like to call it like it is. See, it's, it's those two young black guys that got the two white guys, whatever they want, because they're against Andre and Ruben. I don't like sugarcoating it. It's sad. Tell it like it is. And and I'm subpoenaing to one of them. So I say I have no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, no per only permanent interest. I don't care who it is, mother, father. Me and my mama used to go to meetings. When we got in the meeting, it wasn't about me and my mom. It was about what was supposed to be done for the people. And see, uh, Teresa said something the other day that was profound. You need to put yourself in their place. I ain't never wanted for nothing. I don't even have to be out here today. But I said back in the 80s that I was going to be a voice for the voiceless, the elderly, and that's what I've been doing. That's why I'm here. And, and man, you know, I've been fighting sometimes by myself, but I could not wait to get here with all these brothers. When brothers come together, I, I'm just so happy. I'm happy. So I'm going to stand with y'all as long as I can. That's right. And if I got to go to work and get off of it or whatever I got to do, I'm going to be here with y'all. Right. And the people in Rocky Mount, y'all need to get behind these folk. Right. I don't understand. Y'all, my thing is, when I tell people, a politician or elected official, whomever, they, can, they can't make themselves. It's the people. Yeah. The people need to be speaking. Y'all need to be on this side. That's they right. need to be supporting y'all. Right. We got it wrong. Right. I could go on, on so I'm going to let somebody else say something. <laughs>
And call for me because I ain't running for nothing. That's right. I'm a loose dog. That's right. <laughs> I'm a class shake from the Rocky Mount Racial Justice Group. America is rising. High interest rates and inflationary prices have caused both the middle class and the working poor to protest against stagnant wages, poor working conditions, lack of work protection. Yes, if it can touch the middle class. What about the working poor? Right. We have heard the arguments made by, by some deluded minds with sloppy arguments on social media. Mm. Ooh. Come on now. About Come on, the sanitation on. workers asking for equal pay. Mm. They are not asking for equal pay. They are asking for a living wage to meet their daily needs. Yeah. The Amen. needs that yeah. we all have to meet yeah. every day yeah. to live a good healthy life right. to have a good standard of living and there's also this argument if you protest you're biting the hand that feeds you what have they fed you over the years oh, no. disrespect lack of dignity and a pile of crumbs bite that hand and bite it off hard and i've heard also this argument about home foreclosures, people unable to pay their property taxes. Oh, we're not going to pay any more taxes until they pay their taxes. They do their fair share. You gave them crumbs. You gave them poor wages and you ask them to pay taxes when they have a hard time meeting their daily, uh, daily bills. That's right. That's right. And That's all, to all these people That's right. who have so much verbal litter, please, Jump off your high horse. Mm -hmm. Stop talking down to the working poor. Right mm -hmm. yes. You are a nightmare. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. What do we want? Yeah. Yeah. What do we want it yeah. now? What do we want? Yeah. What do we want it yeah. now? All right. All right. Uh, we got yeah. about yeah. Come on, come on. Let's clap for us to the party. Let's clap right. So, folks. Where's T.J. Walker? We're talking about my cousin, man. Because we got three votes right here. Three, and we need four. So somebody find out where T.J. Walker is, and he can come down here and we can get this done. We got a regularly scheduled council meeting that's coming right up. We got two gentlemen who have called a special session so we can address this issue. Three, three, three. 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 We got three votes. And... Yet, we got a situation where we're, we're demanding justice out here, and we don't have folks showing up to work right. up there. Mm. Right. Right. And getting paid. Right. So yeah. tomorrow, right. if they don't want to show up to work, they don't need to keep showing up to work. Mm. That's right. Vote them out. 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 You know, um... I don't know about most communities, but in our history, we have been taught to listen to our elders. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's been a problem. Yeah. When our mm -hmm. elders speak, mm -hmm. we don't think we follow. Mm. And the elders have spoken. Mm -hmm. They came up to this council, and they looked at us and asked us to do what's right. When our elders are coming up now, that has fought for us, oh, yeah. been there with them for us. That's right. For over fifty some years. That's right. And because of Sue Perry and other elders in this community, mm -hmm. this city is positioned to get the majority at the seat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now the majority need to listen to those that got them to the city. Right. That's right. That's our elders. Right. You know, and so I'm not here to represent Richard Joyner. Mm. I stand on the back of our elders mm -hmm. to disrespect them. Come on now. Is a sin. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's to say that I know more than they know. Come on now. Mm. And so I just want to make way 
for one of the leading elders, pastors in our area that have mentored us, led us, and is encouraging us. Even when he don't even feel like Come it. Come on now. But he's here. That's right. Come on, give it up to God. She's calling me being here uh, as early as I am. But uh, I just want to say hello to everyone here, and I want to salute these great sanitation workers. So let's give them a hand. Yeah. And of course, uh, to our members of city council, we're so thankful. I was riding along uh, several days ago, and I started asking myself, when did the transition take place in Rock Island? Because I've been uh, in Rock Island, I've been passing here for 54 years, and uh, I've been in Rock Island all my life. And there was a transition that took place. And it doesn't take long to figure it out. It was when the sanitation workers of 68 stood up and said that they wanted justice. But, uh, one thing is very important for us to remember, to, for the rest of the staff to remember, the real change, real change took place after the sanitation workers stood. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the ones that some of them don't see the, the need of uh, getting uh, a 15% raise now, uh, which would also if they do it according to the way it's been discussed, uh, the 6% uh, increase for everybody. Uh, here again, you have this, the sanitation worker making a stand. It's going to help everybody. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. and, uh, this, this is uh, historical. It is, it is significant. And uh, I'm very, very, very happy uh, to stand with sanitation workers. I remember in six days when I stood one of my head pastors from all over the country uh, because it was after uh, Martin Luther King's death. Uh, they were calling me and saying, walk up, be careful. Uh, you know, don't, don't put yourself out there for, they didn't say it, but they were suggesting for the little people. Uh, but I, I want you to know that uh, we can't go wrong by starting at the bottom, uh, uh, the, the seed bottom, and and uh, standing. I would say something that I did say the other day, and there are some people who 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 I can stand call here and and get them to testify as they would. When the city manager came, new city manager, uh, I had never met him never laid the eyes on him, never had a conversation with him. And I thought, well, I better fix that because I'm getting ready to do something and he needs to know at least <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and so I had my grandson to, a, to arrange a meeting with him at my church. And I talked with him for about one hour and a half on one subject. And that was sanitation. Mm. All right. I talked with him for about one hour and a half. About, and this had not been released, uh, but I talked to him about a 15% raise for sanitation work. And uh, we talked, we talked, and talked. And when we left there, I thought he was committed uh, to going back and fight for that. Mm. And uh, so now, uh, I found that that, that talk didn't, didn't quite work. <laughs> uh, but we need not be weary uh, because uh, uh, when if I'm right, the Lord will fight my battle. All right, now. And he will fight our battle. Right. When we can't go wrong. We owe the sanitation workers uh, a lot. Yes. Uh, hmm. We owe them a lot for a six-day struggle. 
but we owe them a lot for today's struggle. It's more encouraging now than it was then. We had nobody uh, on the city council uh, that supported us. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, that's one reason why we moved to change the city council. That's right. Uh, to that, that so we could get people that we uh, feel will, will stand with the least of these. Yes. And uh, thank God we have yes. members of city council. Let's see if uh, standing yes. there getting next to now. Uh, and we're so thankful for, for, for them. Yes. We praise God for them. And um, for, for, and, and there are others who, who I think we need to understand. I, I know I'm going to put him on the spot here. Uh, I know my grandson is going to be with us in the, in the last as, as we go on because the stuff we put in him, uh, he, he cannot uh, not stand for these uh, sanitation workers because we raised him to support the least of these. Uh, we have raised him and, and, and encouraged him and the reason why he's in politics now, and I don't want the subject to be about him, T.J. Right. Uh, Walker, but I know the stuff that is in him. And if he's got entangled with something that pulled him away uh, from sanitation workers, it, it, is, a, it is a condition. <laughs> Come on now. On. All right, now. <laughs> Tell it. <laughs> we, uh, we are very, very thankful. That's right. Uh, that at the end, we're going to have him, too. Uh, but let, let's win this thing. Uh, mm. And let's stick together. That's right. Because I said the other night, we don't need to have amnesia. Mm. Uh, uh, the 60s, there was a lot of suffering. Mm. Uh, the sanitation worker families suffered, mm -hmm. the community raised funds to feed their families, mm -hmm. and and the history just go on and on and on. We don't need to have amnesia. That's right. uh, we are where we are because we're standing on the shoulders of the sanitation workers. They started it, and they broke it loose for everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody start getting things start getting better for everybody. That's right. Uh, when the sanitation workers do. That's right. And, and we must stand with them now. Why? Because it's right. That's right. We That's need right. to stand That's right. with them because right. they right. they are a, a necessary, <laughs> uh, uh, a very very necessary part of this city. And of course, as I always say. It's a hard hat people who run in the city. That's right. If the, uh, the upper echelon don't show up for work, uh, who cares? <laughs> but, but when the sanitation worker themselves, we've seen that. Yes. <laughs> we've seen people cry and, All right. and home just, just go, uh, go off pieces because our sanitation workers didn't stand, didn't, didn't pick up the garbage and do their job then. Uh, we don't need history to repeat itself. Amen. That's right. uh, we need to stand with them now. Yes. That's right. What do we want? Yeah. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Yeah. When do we want it? Now. I, I, I just want to say one other thing. I need, I need to say this. That, that, uh, I, I, one thing I regret, but they are, they are with us, uh, that uh, those who started out with us and have, have gone yeah. somewhere in the great cloud uh, of witnesses, Sardine and Saladin and Lewis, Turner, John Sharp, that those are spirits that I hope will be in the people because we had to win those kind of people. That's They're right. not with us now, hmm. but they are with us. That's right. And they encourage my spirit. In fact, they show up in my dreams a whole lot. And uh, um, I, I thank God for it. That's right. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. One, two, three, four. We won't take it anymore. Anybody else from the community that wants to be in support?
part of the raise for the sanitation workers. We're about to, we're about to close this thing. Yeah. Come on up. Man. How y'all doing? All right. When Elijah Dortridge okay. and Tom Harris said this city can run with a police department and a fire department, but it it can it can it can do without a garbage man, a sanitation man. We got a problem there. Can't do without that. The problem is these people look down on you guys. Uh, coming from New York, I used to work in the back of the garbage truck with my father. I know what you pick up. Like we used to pick up dead deer, needles, <laughs> I mean, everything, without no mask or nothing. So you got to take these people from home. No uniform, no nothing. The problem here is perspective. These people just throw their garbage in their can and that's it. So them, once it leaves that house, they don't know nothing. They don't know about the, the yard with dump and the garbage truck, the carpet. They don't know nothing about that. And that's the problem, perspective. I think they need to put the back of the truck for a little bit to see what's in here, man. So people be there. People, I'm sorry, right. people are nasty. <laughs> We're going to be throwing out some stuff, man. Gregory, you know, man. I don't know you for years. So, uh, you know, I, I agree. I like what Andre He's said, done. that we shut this meeting down so we continue to come here. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. 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 My name is Cindy Meeks, for those that do not know me. I am the political action chair for the NAACP Rocky Mount Branch. Yeah. And, um, you know, they say that be careful what you name your children, right? Um, my middle name is actually Justice. And so I stand on the backs of my grandmother and my grandfather who were activists in their own communities, fighting for the least of these. And they were a part of that group as well. The reason why the meeting was canceled today is because they were trying to censor you all. And I know that it is hard to stand up for something when you feel like you may not have the support behind you. But I want to remind you that you do. And that what you are seeing here today is a beginning of a movement that started long ago. Amen. And what I want to be very clear, there are some people here that are in opposition. Absolutely. That are taking pictures right now mm -hmm. in opposition. Hmm. Of what you all are fighting for. That's right. Oh, That's right. But don't let them scare you off. Come on. That's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Don't let them silence you. Because one thing my grandmother taught me, she said, baby, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Hmm. And I'm not a sanitation worker, and I don't have to worry about much of anything because of the job that I have. But that doesn't mean that I don't get to have the right to stand with you all today. <laughs> and that doesn't mean that you all don't have the right to stand for yourself for fair pay that you all have been deserving of. Mm -hmm. That's right. And before we get on social media and talk about city council people that have been on there for years and haven't done anything. Come on now. And Come on. how this has been a political issue. Come on now. And I'd like to argue the fact that everything is political. That's right. Uh, uh, exactly. In the state, <laughs> the legislator. But yet we have city council people that would rather tote around white Republican Come on now. in their community. Tell the story. That's right. To, to vote for them mm. that ended up voting for a budget that underfunded public schools. That works against them. That works against the community mm -hmm. in which you represent, TJ mm. Walker. Mm -mm -mm. Come on. So be very careful what you promise people. Mm. Because he sat on that dais and said that you all would be happy with what you got. Y'all be taking care of. He said y'all be taking care of. Yes. So be very careful what you promise people, because your word is everything. Mm. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Look, we we got to listen. We got we got some work to do. We got two more speakers. We got two more speakers, and then I'm gonna close this out. Um, come on up, brother. And, and Mr. Brown. Let's go, Rod. We got Riley in the building. Y'all give Rod. Y'all give him a hand all the way from Riley today to support us. All right, man. Yes, sir. Love it. Okay, yeah, I'm from um, Riley. I went on 150. Yes, sir. Can't hear you. You need 150. You need 150. You need 150. Is it on? And, um, I done did almost 40 years. 
with the uh, oh, city of Raleigh and, city, uh, and, and sit along with the city of Boston. Mm -hmm. And I know what the sanitation workers are going through because I was when I was with the city of Baltimore, when I was with the city of Baltimore, we had a broken main in the alley. And, and I went to pick up an asphalt that we broke up. And guess what? And there was a syringe in my thing. So I had to go to the hospital and had to go through all these treatments. All these treatments. Because I could have had H you know, HIV or AIDS or whatever. So I'm just saying, I took my hand and I am so happy to see these councilmen here that give me all the support. Because we haven't had that yet. So for the excuse me! Excuse me! Hello! Excuse me! Excuse me! What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Excuse me. You are not going to be able to do it. Yeah. 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 No attention. Let's go. No attention. No attention. No attention. No attention. No attention. Let's go. We got business over here. She got five minutes to fade. We got five minutes to fade. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Now, you know, now you know I came up here really, really being nice. But the sister said something that opened the door, and I can't be quiet no more. I know you say this ain't about politics, but I'm going to tell you something. I want the city people to understand something. The people that do the voting, I want you to understand politics without economics is like symbols without something. All right, now. We need your vote. I need you not to be Democrat or Republican. I need you to be human. That's right. And vote your human conscience for these people. If they're not in favor of the city workers, you should not be in favor of them because the city works because what? We, we work. work. You understand me? If you want your city to work, you better get somebody in position to make it work. That's right. That's right. If you have to remove your city uh, manager to make this city that's work, right. that's what that's you right. do. That's right. And you do that right. by removing the wrong people on city council. That's right. And if they get the right man and get the right person. That's right. That's right. You hear me? Politics without economics is symbol without substance. Symbol without substance. If, if these people are supposed to be controlling your money, and these people talk about they need fair pay, then somebody is mismanaging your money. And you need to look at your city manager first, and then they're going to check the city manager with the mayor. If you got the right people in there, right now you got the wrong people in there, because guess what? They can't do it alone. If they saying this ain't right, then your city manager ain't right. That's right. You hear me? And you got to believe. They get the first chance to vote him up out of there with the four votes. That's right. He gone. That's right. He got to go. Y'all keep playing. Don't play with this. People lies in the state, and it's your own. Hmm. But the life you don't care about today might be your own tomorrow. That's right. 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 Garbage is serious. It is. Don't nobody want garbage. Right. You understand me? If you sit around playing about your situation, you better wake up. These people don't take no vacations. Right here, street of snow. Rain deer's grasshoppers don't make no difference. They cross the street to get it. Hmm. And you sit up there playing, don't want to pay these folks. That's right. So they playing with your money. So money is civil without substance. You ain't got the right person. You got to get somebody in there. Stop playing. I don't want it to be political, but yeah, it, is political. Have to be. it is well, Let's look at it. Yeah. Let's look at it. Don't know what about nobody. The point is, nobody want to play politics. I ain't gonna take politics out of politics. That's a hard job to be a politician. You can't take politics out of politics. Don't take your head up to the men and women that do that. That's a hard job. You gotta compromise when you don't want to compromise. You know, you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna take this salt just to take this. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. They can't just do what they want to do. 
How many losses y'all took? Y'all had to take some losses. This is what y'all didn't want to do, but you had to take a loss. Because you know in the back here what you trying to fight for. And they've been fighting for this for 20 plus years. You haven't been fighting for 50. Come on, y'all. Stop playing. If the city of Rocky Mountain is anything, city of Durham showed up. Why well, I didn't think it was going to yeah. happen. Mm. Mm. I didn't think it was going to happen. You know why I didn't think it was going to happen? Because we had some creeps. Mm. Huh? Come on now. But That's you know fine. what happened? Election season came. And somebody said, look, you're on the wrong side of this. Come on now. You're on the wrong side of this. We bag you, but you're on the wrong side of this. I hate to talk about people that you know you have to make friends with. When hey, hey, you. hey. <laughs> Got to tell but the that's truth. the reality. That's right. If you are not on this side right now, you're on the wrong side of this thing. Any politician that's not on this, you cancel a meeting. Are you serious? You're on the wrong side of this. When the people support these people, you're on the wrong side. Because these are the same people that's supposed to support you. And you're supposed to support. Politics without economics is simple without substance. So right now, it looks like we got a lot of symbols without substance. Mm. Mm. Come on now. We got a lot of symbols up there that's sitting on city council as mayors and, 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 and city managers. They're just some symbolistic people without substance. Mm. Mm. Jacking your money off, I hate to say it like that, yeah. on some mm. projects or whatever, because it's there. And you don't want to pay these people. I hate to play politics. Mm. I know it too good. Mm. And I ain't a politician. <laughs> Politicians do a lot of things that control this world. Hmm. You hear me? I don't care if it comes to legislative laws or whatnot. Everything We're looking to repeal one in the future. Our hmm. union is. You know hmm. what that is? It's a North Carolina State Legislative GS uh, 8589. 95, 98, and 85. With that, you know what that's saying? Public workers can't go on strike. Hmm. You hear me? Wow. But they show sure can withhold their services. All right now. Mm. Oh. All right now. Let's go. God bless y'all. Thank you. All right. We got a meeting to go in. And what do we want? Yeah. What do we want? It? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, y'all join. We need to sign up. Y'all sign up for the NAACP. Join UE 150. We got snacks and water for, for everybody here. If anybody wants to speak for the city council meeting, you need to hurry up and go inside and sign up. If but, you're going to speak at the council meeting, go inside and sign up. We got snacks and water for everybody. Thank you, Miss O'Ree. Thanks to Miss O'Ree. Right. Natalie O'Ree. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Thank you.